Hi, this is Rebecca Coleman for The Art of the Business, and today I'm going to show you how to link your Facebook business page to your MailChimp account. Um, the reason why this could be useful to you is because it can really help you to get more people to sign up for your e-newsletter. What you do is uh, put an e-newsletter sign-up box on your Facebook page, and then People can literally sign up for your e-newsletter in MailChimp without ever having to leave your Facebook page. It's kind of a cool little application and I'm, it's quite simple to do and I'm going to show you how to do it. So first of all, uh, you're going to sign into your MailChimp account and then what you're going to do is you're going to come across your dashboard to the account um, tab right here. Pull down the account tab, go down and click on, uh, under extras, click on integrations. And this is what the integrations directory looks like. The very top one is Facebook. What you want to do is, see there's a little red dot, that means it's not, it's not working. So click on it, and, uh, and then you're going to say install application. And what it's going to do is it's going to whip over and it's going to take you on to Facebook. And if you're signed into Facebook, then you'll be good to go. And now we have a little green light. Yay, green light. Now what you want to do next is click on the little arrow right beside the Facebook button and that's going to pull down and show us um, the more detailed uh, app stuff that we need to sort out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to choose what page we're going to install it in and we're going to install it in the Ridge Meadows Recycling Society because that's the account that we're currently into. Next it's asking us which list we want and so I've already created a mailing list in that particular account so I'm going to grab that one gives you a couple of options here. One is the form theme. You can either use a Facebook theme or you can use the theme. I'm going to use the one that I, because I created a nice little list form for this. So I'm going to use that one. And really important, over here on Use Sign Up Form tab, you need to check the Yes button. If you want to, you could change what that looks like. You know, you could change the name of that. You could say e-newsletter sign up. and then click on save. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip over to our Facebook page and have a look and see our handiwork. So I'm just gonna hide the admin panel, scroll down, and our new little e-newsletter sign-up box is going to be here in amongst the rest of our apps. But you have to scroll down to see it, and there it is. So all you do is you click on e-newsletter sign up and it takes you to the little uh, form that I've created for e-newsletter. Now people can sign up and just click on subscribe to Lust and they'll be subscribed to our e-newsletter. Now if you want to change the order of, um, because they only there's only enough space for four apps in the top row below the fold, if you want to change this and put it in a different place, what you do is you just uh, click on the little thing that looks like a little pencil and it will allow you to edit and so what you can do is you can swap a position with let's say I'll swap position with this one here and now we're done and now the e-newsletter sign up will be in the top row where everyone can see it and sign up for it.